Beth and I went to church this morning. So uh, to kind of give the quick backstory and then address uh, the church thing real quick. Uh, last week, just before the convention on Wednesday evening, there was a an event that was put together kind of hastily, and I think it was called like Meet the Christians or something like that. But it was a panel discussion. It had uh, Dave Silverman and Kathy Johnson from American Atheists and also Professor AC Grayling uh, on one side of the table. And on the other side are three pastors, and I apologize because I don't know all their names, uh, so I'll just skip that part. But basically it was a good discussion uh, talking about, for example, what is something that you, you think the people on the other side of the table think about you that you'd like to correct. And so it was, not a, it was not a debate, it was more of a discussion. And I met with uh, all the pastors afterwards, um, and they were all familiar with this show, and uh, some of them expressed that they were fans of the show and enjoyed watching it. And one of those uh, invited me, I think we're going out to, for dinner or drinks tomorrow night uh, to talk a little bit, but also invited me out to his church. And so this morning Beth and I went, and I won't go through the whole service or sermon or any of that stuff, uh, but it was... Church doesn't feel the same to me anymore. I mean, not just because we've moved into this mega church era of let's put up a band and have big screen TVs. Um, you know, this particular church has multiple campuses in, in Austin, and so uh, the pastor wasn't actually at the church that I was. I just watched him on the TV, which I guess I could have done at home because uh, I'm pretty sure they live stream it too. But, um, and I, and I want, don't want to go through the entire sermon, but one of the things that came up was this idea that uh, Christianity isn't a religion. Uh, and and it, his, his big point was that religions are uh, created by men. They're, religions spawn from men, in particular men who look around at the natural world and then try to find a, uh, a causal explanation for it and appeal to a god and then invent these things down here. And that Christianity is different because it is, uh, originates from God. God. God sees a need in human beings and that's where Christianity comes from. And curiously, about five or ten minutes later in the same sermon, he talks about how um, the people who existed before Jesus, uh -huh. uh, the people like Job and Moses and presumably Abraham, um, they looked around at nature and discovered God. I mean, this is the origin of the very religion that he's talking about, this, this, the foundations of Judaism. Um, Clearly, there's some little conflict here of this one's different, but it was actually founded by these guys who looked around and saw God and tried their best to live in accordance with what uh, God thought. Uh, the other one is there's um, this, this news story that's been going around. I've, I've seen it covered, and I actually talked to him at Met about it when he was here for the convention, um, about the teacher who had people write Jesus down on a piece of paper yeah. and then step on it. Um, and one student didn't, and he got suspended. Um, turns out, I don't remember exactly the way the pastor this morning relayed it, but it wasn't, it wasn't relayed in a way that I think is extremely accurate because the teacher in question is a Christian and a Sunday school teacher and was having a discussion about the power of uh, symbols and stuff like that. Um, the student did not get suspended for refusing to step on the piece of paper. He got suspended for threatening the teacher afterwards. Uh, basically getting into a big yelling match about how this was something that should never be done. And the funny thing is, and this is why I brought this up, I've seen preachers do this exact same thing. Not oh. necessarily taking a piece of paper, write Jesus, and, and having people step on it, but pointing out to people uh, as a matter of theology that the symbols and the words and, and all this stuff is meaningless. I've seen pastors rip pages out of the Bible saying, this is not your pathway to heaven, this is not, in and of itself, it's not sacred, it's not, it's not holy, it is a representation of something, and it is the thing that it represents that matters, which I think may have been along the lines of what this teacher was trying to do, this, if I write down Jesus on a piece of paper, how exactly does that tie into my mind with what I think of Jesus? Um, so I don't really see anything wrong with the actual event that took place, uh, but meanwhile, this good Christian Sunday school teacher who uh, had people step on a piece of paper that said Jesus, um, has received death threats and racial slurs in response to this. So, you know, I, I, I won't just say that it so, was... Uh, so more people need to learn the message of that class, which is that the symbols are just symbols yeah. and not something to get all fired up about.
Yeah, and uh, you know, yeah. I won't I won't be so glib as to say it's an example of good Christian love, but I will say that I'm pretty sure that the people <laughs> who are threatening this individual definitely identify as Christians, and we're certainly upset that their their yeah. religion was maligned. And the other thing that he said this morning that kind of got me was this thing of when people hit their like you hit your thumb with a hammer. Yeah, you always say Jesus Christ. You don't say Muhammad or any of this stuff. Uh, this is cultural. I mean, this is blindness to the rest of the world. Uh, who don't actually probably say Jesus Christ when they hit themselves with a hammer. Uh, you're, you're looking at an individual living in a predominantly Christian society and seeing that reflected in society and then extending this to say that it says something important and significant about how Jesus, Jesus is so much different that people are in other countries and other religions are going to take his name in vain. It's just, it, was, uh, it was wrong, it, it, incorrect. Uh huh. But it's just another example of that. You know, here's an example of a thing we have gotten away with all along. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's here's a thing that's pervasive in our culture that where you happen to yell out Jesus. That proves that that's right, and and we and and uh, and that means something. It it doesn't necessarily mean something just because uh, just because there's a connection you can draw. Yep. Okay. So anyway, uh, my experience at church this morning. Um, well, they had donuts and muffins and stuff, uh -huh. which I heard were good. I didn't have any because I'm not supposed to eat that stuff. But uh, uh -huh. so we'll see. 